The Open Legacy architecture encompasses a set of development tools, full runtime environment, and API management capabilities. Open Legacy projects are basic Java projects which are built to expose APIs based on existing legacy backends. The left side of the screen shows an Open Legacy SDK project, which exposes a Java SDK for a specific backend and invokes application assets using just a few lines of Java code. Designated connectors communicate with each backend in its own language and with its own specific protocol. The right side of the screen shows an Open Legacy API project, which can utilize multiple SDKs and is responsible for exposing a REST API. In this example, we are creating a project that will invoke legacy mainframe COBOL programs using straightforward Java models automatically created by the platform. The Open Legacy platform can connect to a wide range of legacy backends, including mainframe, AS400, SAP, Temenos, Tandem, SOAP, JTBC, Stored Procedures, and more. This is an example of a COBOL file that contains a customer ID and its associated credit card details. Open Legacy's magic automatically parses the existing COBOL metadata you would like to invoke and generates a Java entity, also called a model. The Entity Editor is a graphical editor that allows you to view and edit the Java models. Having a graphical editor enables non-Java developers to view and even update the code and using JUnit, test it to make sure it works properly. To create the service, we create API projects and expose them as REST or SOAP services. In this case, we are creating a microservice project, which is a new development, in addition to a monolithic application. Now, we generate an API directly from the SDK, choosing the API's input and output, and changing them if necessary. In our example, the API input is a customer ID, and the output is a list of credit card details of the customer. Using the API editor, the implementer can edit the input and output of the API. All the graphical activities are also available by editing the Java code. We can now run the application. Using a browser, we can now see the API catalog, invoke the new API, and its documentation, the request and response, and test it in the Swagger page. These emulations serve as real-time application testing and proof of application design by displaying actual runtime results in the Swagger format. A microservice ecosystem comprises a set of components that fulfill various roles such as controlling and managing access to the system, primary configuration control, security, analytics, and monitoring. Each individual API project is a fully functional microservice. Docker is an industry standard used to build, ship, and run APIs and microservices. In this example, we use Docker to build and run images with a single command. 
the Open Legacy Management Console allows you to easily manage the microservice and their APIs. Using the Management Console, you can view and manage all the APIs and microservices as they operate. All the microservices that are registered to the ecosystem are visible, including the status of each microservice and the number of instances available for each. A details page is also available for the microservice that displays various data such as configuration files and the SDKs in use. These are the APIs exposed by this application, including some details about the API. APIs can be bundled together according to any logical categorization or business consideration to more easily apply rules on them and manage access to APIs. The analytics page displays metrics about API usage, such as API request counts, success rates, error ratios, and response times. We use the ELK stack for this, E for Elasticsearch, L for Logstash, and K for Kibana. Client access can be controlled from the security panel, as well as applying other security rules such as defining restrictions based on scopes and authorities. Throttling allows you to control the number of calls from users and clients to an API in any time frame. The Configurations panel allows you to edit the configurations of properties available in the config server, easily upload new properties files, and edit them. Zipkin is a log analysis tool that allows us to trace the routing of a call following its path through the components and monitor performance metrics. <laughs>